Hi everybody, my name is Matt Haynes, I'm an audiobook narrator, and I am studying an accent a month uh, these days. I used to uh, do an accent a week, but I'm slowing down just a little bit, which is actually good for the digestion. Uh, this month it is going to be West Country England, and what I'm going to do is uh, show you where I'm positioning the accent in my mouth, and then also uh, some specifics on uh, vowel changes, at least from general American, and consonant changes. And then we're going to put it all together with lyrics to some popular songs, a technique I highly recommend. And here's the Mattoon, a picture of me with my glasses on. And uh, basically what this is all about is uh, showing you my mouth position. Um, Obviously, I can't make my mouth do this exactly, but just uh, for emphasis of where the accent is living, I find that it tends to bounce up and down between my upper molars and my lower molars. Okay, so let's break this down. Um, so the U sound, uh, General American tends to be an U, U, uh, becomes uh, more of an U uh, or an U. Uh, so U and I becomes you and oi. O, as in go, becomes o, and, and even more exaggerated, I find, um, to, to an o. So, you and oi go. The a sound turns into more of an ah. Um, so, hard at each other, or just at each other, becomes closer to at each other. Now, the i becomes uh, something closer to an oi. Um, it's, uh, I'm finding that it's not even like the Irish oi, uh, but, but a really good strong oi uh, tends to put my mouth in the right position. So you and I becomes you and oi. Now the uh sound, um, I'm actually pushing into more of an i sound. Now, I'm not saying that you want to go there, but uh, I'm finding that given the position my mouth is taking with upper molars, lower molars, upper molars, lower molars, um, to get a good flat uh sound as opposed to an uh sound um, or an ah sound, um, I tend to go for an i. So start with an i, go into uh. So each other becomes each other. One of the other really distinguishing features uh, here, besides the oi sound with I, is the hard R. Um, so, you and I go hard. We go hard. And speaking of hard, as opposed to hard, the H is dropped usually at the beginnings of words. The T is usually dropped um, at the ends of words. So, hard at each other becomes hard at each other. This one is fairly common, um, so uh, it's, it's intuitive. But the ing becomes abbreviated into in. So uh, let's see, like we're going to war becomes gooin. Okay, it's time to put it all together with Maroon 5's One More Night and Sugar. You and I go hard at each other, like we're going to war. You and I go rough, we keep throwing things and slamming the door. You and I get so damn dysfunctional, we start keeping score. You and I get sick, yeah, I knew we can't do this no more. There you go again, making me love you. I stopped using my head, let it all go. I got you stuck on my body like a tattoo. And I feel so stupid each time I come crawling back to you. But... I cross my heart and I hope to die that I'll only stay with you one more night. And I know I've said it a million times, but I'll only stay with you one more night. My broken pieces. You pick them up. Don't leave me hanging. Come give me some. When I'm without you, I'm so insecure. You're the one thing, one thing I'm living for. Don't want to be needing your love, just want to be deep in your love. It's killing me when you're away. Don't care where you are. Just want to be there where you are. Just give me one little taste of sugar. Yes, please. Come put it down on me. Roy right dear, cause I need love and a little sympathy. You give me good loving. Make it all right. I need some sweetness in my life. And there you go with uh, One More Night and Sugar from Maroon 5. And music supplied by Mr. Kevin McLeod, who lets people uh, get this public domain and free. So thank you very much, Kevin. Was this video accurate? Somewhat. And let's use this as the beginning. If you have experience with the West Country English accent, uh, put specific tips in the comments. And I will see you all next month.